like we switched gears with Pashmina over there. He spoke about uh, you know unified communications, and I'm going to jump right into it. But before that, uh, you know the beginning of this uh, uh, of this talk session, Anurag said that you know we were leading with the best. We all know we always save the best for last, right? <laughs> so this is the best. Um, two things that I really want to talk to you about. There's two points that I want to drive home. How many of you are very familiar with Enhanced SR? I'm sorry, SRST, the classic. Survival remote site telephony. Yeah. Right, for you guys, you would know that in classic SRST mode, if you had speed dials, right, if you had all these fancy features and services that you had on your phone, if you went into SRST mode, you lose all of that. Right? And a lot of our customers in today's world really prefer all those speed dials as is. They really want to, you know, especially banking customers, or, you know, our clients, they have their clients on speed dials. They want to make a trade, they want to do that fast. Now you go into SRST mode and you suddenly have to start looking up numbers which they don't like. So that's the first thing we're doing. We are preserving that look and feel even in survivable mode. And that's called enhanced SRST. Right? So I'm going to, uh, I wish I had a clicker. Right. So just to reiterate that point. So here are two phones. One is configured for enhanced SRST. One is configured for classic SRST. In SRST mode, once you lose band connectivity, you can see that Rob's phone has only the primary DN, and that's it. Whereas Joe's phone over here has all its features still survive. So that's the first thing we're trying, we did with enhanced SRST. Now let's take the second point that I want to drive home. The second point is manageability. Let's not take big, huge numbers of hundreds of sites or you know, 50 sites or so forth. Let's take simple numbers. Easy to do math, at least for me. 10 <laughs> sites, right? You have 10 sites. Let's say you have five users in every site. So that's about 50 users. Let's say you have you know, three to five extensions or speed dials or some sort of services running per phone. That's a lot of CLIs that you suddenly have to configure. How much is that? Five times 10 times five. Right. A lot of CLIs. <laughs> See, I, even that math wouldn't work with me. I should take smaller numbers. But those many CLIs, you would have to configure. I mean, most people are experts with GUI. They like to go ahead and you know, configure the call manager with their GUIs. Now suddenly they have to turn back around and no CLI to configure the SRST router at all those five sites. Let's say one employee decides to change the speed dial or somebody quits. Now you have to go back in and reconfigure and redo all that CLI. Prone to a lot of error. And first of all, you need to have knowledge on all those CLIs. That's where the SRST manager comes in. So that's the second thing that we did. The SRST manager. Uh, this is just a topology that shows about you know, bunch of sites. I would really think this is an exaggerated one to drive the point home, but like we said, just take five sites, it still drives the message back home. But I want to talk about the SRST manager real quick. First of all, it's a virtual machine, right? It's no more tied to a hardware, it's no more tied to a blade, none of that sort. Call manager is virtualized, so is the SRST manager. You can install this right on that same UCS server. The second point is, it, go, it logs into call manager, right? The SRST manager logs into call manager, identifies all the different sites associated with that call manager, all the users associated with those sites, all the extensions that, for those users, every bit of information that it needs. It gathers all this information. And then it translates all that into CLIs and pushes it down automatically into the routers. It has all this intelligence built in. So you as an end user need not worry about CLI at all. I do apologize for the CCIEs who really spend a lot of time you know, learning about CLIs, but here we make things a lot easier now. No, no, no. CLI on SRST and CME is horrible, horrible. It's evil stuff. So This is an angel. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to make things a lot easier. Is this going to be rolled into Unified Communications Manager instead of being a separate server? Um, there are no concrete plans right now, but that's something that maybe the team will look into it. Right? It's a good feedback. We'll take it but we'll see how we can incorporate that in. So what we are doing is making it, uh, moving it to make it part of HEF yeah. that's being with that right now as a server, so that it's, uh, it's a server in the cloud. Interesting. But in the long term, if you're asking whether another GUI tab under Call Manager itself and incorporate this in, probably. Well, you know, you, you know there's just like a or billion different BUs. And right, right. Different product well, groups within each one, and you end up having, you know, uh, which 14 different servers do I have to get running to make a call? Even, right. if Fair point. even if it doesn't show up under call manager proper, if it could be part of, say, maybe like the provisioning manager down the road. One of the prime infrastructure may be incorporated under one. Yeah. 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 
Yeah, I totally agree. Valid points. We'll take this that. Is a, this is a valid workflow for that. It's like set up call processing voicemail. Now make it so that it can survive a WAN hit. Yeah. yeah. So that that would be fine with me. Yes, Perfect. Uh, I know I've got a person in the back with the time clock on my head, so I put it also rush like my previous <laughs> all the predecessors. So a little bit more information on the SRHT manager. We said it's virtualized, so it supports ESXi 4.1, 5.0. Um, you know, that's just a bit of information for folks on Bridge uh, for you guys to read through later. The amount of beef in a virtual CPU is required and stuff like to install the SRST manager. Yes, please. No, you mentioned an interesting thing about hosting this up in the, uh, up in the cloud, at like a WebEx cloud, I'm assuming. So you're looking at putting provisioning manager and other things like this. So, so, so you can have the, uh, the hosted collaboration service, mm -hmm. right? Oh. You would, yeah. At ACS? ACS. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, it's okay. CS. in the ACS. Yeah. Never mind. So real quick with that, I, I want to jump in to just show you the actual GUI, but the real key bullet at the, at the end of that might shock a lot of you, it's free. Uh, usually we're not good in giving things away for free, but we are. So the SRST manager is, is free, you can download it, install it, play with it, feel it. Now I want to ask you guys a question in return. So we're here, moved away from the classic SRST. We have additional features that we support with enhanced SRST. In fact, we bring in all the features that you know a phone before it fell into fallback mode did. So what are we actually doing? What's the real underlying technology that we're running on the routers? Anyway. So we're, we're in a sense, we're really doing... Call Manager doing Express on right? Exactly. We're, re we're, re we're running Call Manager as a star state. So that's a key thing that we have to know, that that's using that real rich functionality in the router and, and enhancing it to make it much more resilient for survivability. Well, I mean, I've had to do this for years because SRST is considered to be redundancy, not call processing functionality and thanks to government rules redundancy is a four letter word so uh, you know, I've been trying to do this for a while and this is awesome so great I'd like to hear those words awesome yes mm -hmm. uh, just a bunch <laughs> quick snapshot on number of features that we do survive yes a minute 47 and a bunch, bunch of features that we do survive I mean you know what we do with our CLIs today <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I just want to quickly jump over to just uh, not that one that one Give you a feel of what this, uh, the manager, you know, the, the dashboard looks like. It's just like Unity Express now. <laughs> uh, it's a general Cisco template in terms of how you create can GUIs. Can, keep I, can I put in a feature free. request? Can you please, for the love of all, it's holy, make this the new Call Manager Express GUI? <laughs> call Manager Express GUI, okay. Because your GUI for Call Manager Express doesn't run on a web browser that can be installed today. By the way, you can blame him for that. Yes, blame him. Okay. I'm going to beat you up in the parking lot. <laughs> 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 I was the technical marketing manager for that product, and then I left the group. I recommend well, you leave the building. Yeah. I would say right. now he's just the marketing manager. It's worse now. So, <laughs> no, seriously, this yes. needs to be your new GUI across the board. Uh, we have our TME manager, um, engineers yeah. here. We we we've got this covered. Find yeah, me when we're you. done. Right yeah, that's the guy you want to beat up next. Line up outside. So real quick, I'm going to go into the configuration of it. Like, well, how do you run through it? I'm not going to go through all the steps, but we do have the call manager. That's where you get in. And if you click on that, you need to give the Axel username and password. That's how you log into the call manager and SSH user ID and of the router. So that's how the SRT manager will SSH back can into the router. Can I just be any Axel username, or do I need to create a specific one just for this? No, you can you can reuse an existing one if you want, okay. or you can use a separate one if you want for security okay. reasons. I didn't know if it was going to do some really oddball Axel stuff. That you could with that. It's you know if you run this command like you know uh, I've not shown it, but here I've actually gone ahead and. Asked the SRST manager to look for sites. So it's gone into the call manager. He started looking for sites. It can go up to 1,000 sites. Tony, please correct no. me if I'm wrong. 2,000 sites. Now, this is just the ESRST part. This is an SRSV, right? This is not SRSV, and no, there's nothing to do with SRSV. Okay, so you can't do any SRSV stuff from inside of this? No. Okay, well, that's fine. And SRSV is totally it's being changed. There's Unity connection coming on the blade, and that okay. would be your next SRSV. Awesome. Thank you. Right. Uh, pretty much, uh, I'm sure Tony, I mean, time's up, but. You know, I can, you can, again, I said, download this and stop, play with it. I, I'd like to leave with that last awesome thought in my mind. So, <laughs> thank you.